a great Wednesday. Right. Come on in, have a seat, gather, uh, get around here. And the reason we're here today is, is for Gavin Burgess uh, to, to uh, celebrate his accomplishments and, and uh, what lies before him. So we are, we are excited about that. Um, as we get ready for, for uh, the Burgess family to come forward and Gavin to come forward, uh, Coach Armstrong is going to come lead us in prayer. Please bow your heads. Father, before this time of celebration, we want to take a moment and recognize that you are the giver of all good gifts. The talents that we have are graciously given to us by you to be used for your good and your glory and for our enjoyment. We thank you for the experiences that Gavin has had and for our opportunity to be part of his life at this point. We pray that you be with us during this celebration. Bless it. May you be pleased in all that you see and hear. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. What a wonderful, what a wonderful morning. If, if uh, Mr. and Mrs. Burgess and, and Gavin will come forward and have a seat at the table, Coach Armstrong, you can come up here and sit, sit uh, with them too. That'd be great. Uh, tuck in there neatly behind that table. We are gathered here to recognize the achievements and accolades of Gavin, uh, Gavin Burgess in the field of, of soccer and beyond. Uh, but uh, ultimately, this is culminating with him uh, signing for a scholarship to play soccer at Dallas Baptist University. Uh, we're excited about that. We're proud of Gavin. Uh, and, and with that, there are, there are designated dates for different sports uh, to sign. These scholarships are letters of intent. And uh, this, this date does fall within that window. And so we're, we're excited about that. But a little bit of background on Gavin. Uh, he is the son of John and Lori Burgess and has attended LCA for seven years participating in lettering in soccer every year that we've had it. <laughs> Two years. <laughs> That's great though. Uh, and, and, and what a joy it's been uh, to have soccer and the foundation that they've poured and that they've contributed to LCA Athletics has been phenomenal. He's also been involved in baseball, golf, swimming, uh, and if you were at the game where he kicked a 55 yard field goal, that was he was wearing a helmet then but uh, Gavin, first guy to kick a 55-yard field goal is impressive, all right? So congratulations to you on that as well. Off the field, he's also involved uh, in LSO. I think, my, I think my microphone may have just gone dead. That's fine. Uh, but he's involved in LSO. In both seasons in soccer and legacy, he has earned all state honors. Qualifying for this, you must have a 3.5 grade point average or better. So uh, again, he's done well in the classroom and just as well in the classroom as he's done on the, on the soccer field or on the soccer pitch, as they said. So Gavin began playing soccer at age four with his dad, John, coaching. John would come home and say that Gavin is the most disinterested player on the team. He was more interested in picking flowers. <laughs> But he was even beyond that, he was more interested in the snacks after the game. All right? Some games you just have to go get Rocky Road after the game and, it's, and enjoy life. So uh, he did earn the nickname Snacks then. All right? I don't know if they, I don't think they still call you that. Uh, but but uh, he soon took to the sport and never looked back. After playing with his dad as the coach for a couple of years, he made the jump to Frisco Soccer Association. He played there for a few years. Yearning for more competition, he made the move to FC Dallas and played on their academy team. With that move, he met who he calls Coach Sammy. Coach Sammy would serve in Gavin, as Gavin's coach for several years as they traveled around the nation and they competed in various tournaments, winning numerous tournaments. They built, he, Gavin was able to build lifelong relationships and friendships through that whole experience. Which, if you think about it, the greatest purpose in sports, number one, is to honor God, and number two, to build relationships, things that last. <clears throat> After FC Dallas, he played with a, with a couple other clubs, such as ASG and Andromeda. Here, too, he would meet and train with coaches that helped push him and develop him as a well-rounded player. 
It was during this time that he toured Legacy. The first question on his tour was, do you have a soccer team? Unfortunately, at that time, the answer was no. But it was also paired with, we hope to have one soon. Thank you. All right. Waiting patiently, Gavin, in his sophomore year, came home with exciting news that Legacy would form a soccer team uh, and then the next year move into the TAPS, uh, Texas Association of Private and Parochial Schools, and compete there. Gavin never once asked to change schools, even though he knew that Wakeland was headed for a state championship and others, other schools in Frisco would contend at a high level of competition. He had a greater desire to stay at Legacy, serve the school, and was fully invested in the mission of Legacy. In two short years at Legacy Soccer, Gavin has experienced success as a teammate and an individual. In 2017, coached by Eric Kratz, uh, who would quickly become a mentor, friend, and great coach to Gavin, the team made their first ever playoff appearance. The first one in the first year that the, that the team existed. They won their first ever playoff game. And they, could, they went on to face eventual state champions, Grapevine Faith. Eventually, Gavin scored 27, or in that season, Gavin scored 27 goals and tallied 14 assists. He served as the team's co-captain and earned team MVP, first team all-district, all-tournament team honors in various tournaments, and also, as noted earlier, uh, was honored with academic all-state. Change came after his junior year in the coaching staff as Coach Kratz uh, left. We were able to get Coach Armstrong and the season culminated with the beating of Great by Faith on their home field in playoffs on the coldest day of the year. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that, that, that vanquished last year's playoff loss. They then went on to face Prince of Peace and lost in the regional final. Gavin earned honors of team MVP, captain, offensive player of the year, first team all district, second team all state, and once again, academic or all state. Gavin's unselfish play and field vision creates scoring opportunities for teammates. Gavin improves the value of every player on the field when he is on the field with them. He is an unselfish player. His love for his teammates, desire to compete, and passion for the game run very deep. This is evidenced through continuing to play after somehow fracturing his foot in the Grapevine Faith game. I, I didn't know you were hurt. That's how well he hit it. Did you know he was hurt, Coach? No, he, he, he hit it very well, but he later on was diagnosed with a fracture there. Uh, so he continued to push through that, continued to show resolve, continued to show grit, and finish the season with a fracture in his foot without missing uh, any of the playoff games. Some of his best memories were being able to travel to tournaments and attend soccer camps, even having to spend a night in a rental car in Las Vegas because his parents were told the room was not yet available. That same day, he woke up, played in a college showcase game, and also put, put the ball in the back of the net that day. Gavin was honored to have offers all the way from Iowa to Arkansas, but Dallas Baptist was his first choice. And this is a testament to Dallas Baptist and Legacy Christian Academy, because he feels that Dallas Baptist University is an extension of Legacy Christian Academy and a place that he can grow and be challenged as well as play the sport for which he has always had a passion. Gavin, as you open up that letter uh, of intent and prepare to sign that, look out here, look at your peers, look at what is legacy, take it all in, and then sign it when you're ready. <laughs> When you 
sign it. Pass it. Gavin, we appreciate your leadership, your diligence, your commitment to Legacy, to Legacy Athletics, to the soccer team. In two years, they have very much poured a foundation, and and you have you have and are leaving a legacy here. So finish the race that you've started, run it in such a way as to win, and thank you for your leadership. Congratulations again to Gavin. Let's congratulate him. Gavin, it, is, it was Gavin's request to have Coach Armstrong open us in prayer and Mrs. Bixler close us in prayer. After, Mrs. Bixler, if you'll come on up. After she closes us in prayer, you need to head quickly to your, the first period class of the day. Thank you, Mr. Gavin, for me in prayer. Philippians 3, 13 and 14 says, Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this time of celebration as we acknowledge the opportunity and blessing you've granted Gavin Burgess. We thank you for his parents, grandparents, family, and friends who stand before him now and who have stood beside him throughout his 18 years, encouraging him as he celebrated the victories, accepted the defeats, and learned the lessons not only in the game of soccer, but in life. We thank you, Lord, for the years of soccer experience you've granted Gavin, from the time he played his first soccer game at age four till present, for the select teams he participated in, as well as the past two years at LCA. We acknowledge you, Lord, and thank you for giving Gavin what it takes to be a true athlete. God-given talent, hard work, perseverance, leadership, teachability, but above all, humility. Lord, we pray for your protection and hand upon Gavin as he joins a new community of believers. Let him enjoy the excitement that will come from walking onto that DBU field for the first time as a Patriot, with the goal of glorifying you in every practice and game played. Help him fulfill his call and commitment to DBU, and recognize his need to be dependent on you for success. Lord, let him never forget that he's loved and supported by many, and help Gavin to acknowledge you in everything he does. In your precious name we pray. Amen.